a 13 year old girl punished for her hairstyle. Let's put up the institution full mass here. And let me give you the background, a black 13 year old child, a 13 year old child and the child's mother. They have now accused Bar Beacon School in the UK of racial discrimination and said her daughter was singled out because of her hairstyle. The schools, uh, the school girl spent two days in isolation. You heard me correctly, two days in isolation because of, and I quote, inappropriate hairstyle according to the school. The student had braids, braids with added red hair to attend a wedding. But the mother said some of her white classmates also have dyed hair, but they are not punished due to their dyed hair. The school said its policy was administered equally to all pupils. The student and the mother speak out about the incident being in isolation meant Mela, excuse me, Myla missed lessons, school lessons, break times. Instead, had to work alone from books until she could go home at the end of the day. So they put her in actual isolation. I get really stressed out over it, Myla said. Adding, made her feel very self-conscious about her hair. They're telling me to take it out and put my hair in a bobble. But I don't like it in a bobble, she said. Her mom, Carrie, said it was not right. Myla was a good child and she gets good grades. She gets good reports, but for two days she's, she's in isolation because of her hair, she said. It's absolutely disgusting. Previous incidents involving the student's hair in 2022, Myla was called out for another braided hairstyle, which had not been colored at all, which led Carrie to believe she might be a victim of discrimination rather than just a strict adherence to policy. Let me give you the response from the school. While Matrix Academy Trust, which runs the school, said it could not comment on individual cases, it said it had very high expectations of pupils. And any pupil with brightly colored hair will be asked to remove the hair color. A spokesperson added the trust strongly denied there was any race discrimination. Now let me dissect the the response from the institution. The institution said if a child has, um, as they put it, uh, brightly colored hair, uh, not colored hair, not dyed hair, but Brightly, that's the line, brightly dyed hair, yes. They will ask the student to remove said dye. Well, in this case, um, this is for the institution. That is not what happened. They removed the pupil, they removed the student and they placed the student in isolation. And according to your own policy, the institution broke policy in 2022 when the student only had braids with absolutely no hair color. And there was a penalty even then in 2022, according to the mother. So how do you reconcile that 2022 dilemma and this dilemma you have current? And in order for it to be enforced equally, well, you cannot have what's called a subjective standard. You see, saying bright colors is a subjective standard. Maybe if you say this color, this color, and this color, at least it's objective, even though it is still discriminatory. But to just leave it open provides opportunity, well, for what you have today. A spokesperson for Matrix Academy, Trust highlighted its uniform policy, which stated hair color and high fashion hairstyles are not permitted, end quote. All right, let me go ahead and Once again, highlight your own policy to the institution. Your policy says hair color, that's it. Hair color and high fashion hairstyles. What the hell is a a high fashion hairstyle? But let's not even deal with that. Let's deal with the fact that your policy says hair color and nothing else.
The mother has already gone on record and said there are many white students that dye their hair and they do not get suspended. They're not put in isolation. They're not kicked out of the institution. Your own policy says you have a prohibition against hair color, not against braids, but against hair color. So if the issue is hair color, why did your spokesperson misstate the policy in the beginning by saying bright or brightly colored hair? Because you're trying to cover your ass. That's why. We see through the foolishness. All right, there's more. The web page features an image of four pupils, one of whom has a similar hairstyle to Mila, where braids go down to her waist. The trust insisted it did not, it did not have a problem with braids. Kara said she had approached the school for a meeting, but had not received a response. All right, so um, Britain's human rights, this is in UK, remember, Britain's human rights watchdog warned schools in 2022 that they could be acting illegally by preventing children with Afro textured hair from wearing natural hairstyles, including braids and cornrows. Now, why is that? Because those hairstyles are significantly connected to the expression of culture of black students in particular. That is the reason why that warning was sent in 2022, and it looks as if this institution has decided to disregard it. Remember, these dynamics are universal. They're not just contextualized through the experience of domestic America. All right, Sharon, thoughts here. Yeah, and if they have such an issue and they want everyone apparently to look the same, why don't they do what the British government has done and have those lace fronts on everyone, mandate <laughs> right. that, why don't you? Harry and Megan were right. And what breaks my heart here, Doc, is that the mother said, you know, she's heartbroken because two days in isolation. It sounds like her little girl has been in isolation the entire school year. That's what it yeah, sounds like to me. That's right. That's right. That's a very good point. All right, we will bring you an update as it comes.